guess I'm going to transfer the call to my son, and I guess I'm going to wait for him to pursue my death. Okay. Thank you. Now the call is disconnected, and I'm going to talk to her manager. This is legit. This is just some strange bullshit that, you know, this doesn't even make sense. Doesn't make sense. Let's see what the manager has to say and how long that takes to get on. Hello? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. I'm still <laughs> waiting for my manager to rest on my desk here and take over your call. Just a moment. Okay, so my phone's not going to be fixed tonight, is it? Well, I mean, in regards to that, I do not know if maybe the manager yeah. will call back. So can you me. take my number down and have your manager call me? I need to have somebody there call me. My phone's not going to be fixed after all this. And I, I got to go. I have a nine-month-old baby that I've been putting off for five hours to take this call. So who's going to call me back? Well, as I said, the floor manager does not have any... Okay, you can call me back. You know my number. I expect a call back. You know my number. I expect a call back with your manager. Yeah, because she can call me back. The call dropped the first time, and actually it was me who hit the call that dropped. So... Well, I might have been me, but yeah, so she can call me back. But this is what the customer service is with um, Straight Talk. It's with any place that's oversourced. Um, see, they can call me back. Hello? Hello? I'm Straight Talk Wireless. We're going to call with the recorder for quality assurance purposes. Are you the person that I was speaking with? Yes. Okay, ma'am, my manager is next to me, so can I place in a brief hold for up to three minutes while I transfer the call? Yes. Thank you, please hold. Bullshit. This is all bullshit. This is all bullshit. And this is why straight talk is going to fail. Any other business, we should just start boycotting them. It's our money. We work hard for this money, and it's we're treated like this. And if you don't do exactly what they, they say, then you either don't get the service and you're paying for it. And, you know, it happens all the time. You get your other bill that's supposed to be a set price and that comes in and that's another $20 or $10. It's just, 
It's something all the time. And, you know, families, this is what corporate America does. And we have the power as consumers to stop it. And here we are. Um, it's almost 7 o'clock my time. And I know that they already said they can't do anything about my phone because they close at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Verizon does. So now I'm just waiting another three minutes conveniently, even though she was right next to her manager, for a phone conversation that's not going to even be resolved. My phone's not going to be fixed.